Louis Tom, you can hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Two Drink Minimum, the podcast that's gonna get me to fucking murder someone in this goddamn studio. <laughs> the gentleman in front of me definitely will not get killed. It's goddamn Mike Ward. I can't hear anything right now. <laughs> are we on? I don't think this fucking piece of shit show is working. You are uh, the co-host of this show, or actually the host of Pentels, and uh, this guy, yeah. murder victim number one. Murder, you're your practice victim. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he's gonna practice his murder on you. Before the show, Poseidon told me and Pierre, don't worry, I got this. And he showed up with a toilet plunger and ruined everything. We don't know yeah. what the fuck he did on these goddamn computers, and but he ruined everything. And a monkey wrench. And a monkey wrench. But we're back. We're, uh, we were discussing earlier Poseidon's great weekend, which... Uh, yeah, which uh, consisted of him driving you places. Well, it's, you know, he's... He yeah. takes happiness yeah. in, in all the right places, really. Simple <laughs> simple things the make him simple happy. Simple pleasures. Yeah. I'm a simple man. But you ate? You had a Philly cheesesteak sandwich? Yes, I did. Which was uh, pretty good for Ottawa standards. For Ottawa standards? Really? Is Ottawa food garbage? Uh, Ottawa Greek food is garbage. Okay. Uh, I, guess. Yeah. I don't know. Anything outside of Montreal? The in- is like, eh. I think the Indian food is better in Ottawa than Montreal. I don't eat Indian food. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Is it? Because I don't eat Indian food. The only thing I eat Indian food is naan bread. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only Indian oh, yeah, food I do I eat. I do eat naan bread. Yeah, that is Indian. Yeah, I yeah. eat that. Yeah. That's the only thing. The rest, I, it doesn't sit well with my stomach. Yeah? Yeah. That's why you don't eat it. But you eat Mexican. But that sits well with my stomach. But they're both spicy foods. Isn't it the kind of the same mm. thing in your stomach? I guess it's a type of spice. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because Mexican is hot spice and Indian is just like tasty spice. Yeah. It's, that's the new Spice Girl for me. Yeah, tasty, tasty spice. spice. <laughs> tasty spice. That's a good name. For uh, for a Spice Girl? Yeah. Tasty spice? Yeah. Tasty, tasty spice. spice. So I heard that over the weekend when you weren't with driving me or Mike around, that you showed up at a uh, alternative comedy room in Manhattan, New York, and uh, a comedian on stage started yelling at you and screaming. Is that true? What? What are you talking about? Did that not happen? I was with you the whole time, bro. Oh, shit. That wasn't you? Yeah, I thought, oh. I thought that was him. No, it was Harvey Weinstein, actually. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein oh, what the hell, bro? went to a alt comedy show, which what better place to go when, when you're a guy that's accused of raping 900 people going, I'm going to go see woke people do comedy. Uh, woke. In his defense, Mike, of which I have to come to often, <laughs> uh, he probably, two things. Number one, it was a private event, so he was invited. So he said, if I'm invited, it's probably cool for me to be there. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just thinking of, in his head, he's like, if I got invited, people probably forgot. This whole thing blew over. <laughs> I'm in the clear. <laughs> that means the person that invited him fucking hates him. Was like, that fucking piece of shit wine scene wouldn't put me in his film, and now he's talking about doing a movie with me? Now I'm going to fuck him up. Fuck but him. The, the comedian lost, though. People were mad at her, and she started yelling and screaming. Yeah, it was it was just weird, though. It was, it was weird. It was weird. Like, I don't, if I was her, and if you're that angry that he's there, don't go on stage. Yeah. Or go on stage. Make it funny. Make it funny, yeah. That's what we were discussing over the weekend yeah. with Guido Grasso. We said, just make it funny if you're going to... But if you're going to be there and yell, like, I can't believe he's here. Yeah. I can't believe like he's the, here. One of them on stage was did a bit that was kind of funny. But the yeah, the other one, you're talking about the one that was yelling, I was raped. Yeah. And you're like, Jesus, fuck. So do you think... Because he never... They never had contact with a woman yelling, right? No. So do you think... No matter what you do, like him... It, she wasn't happened. hot enough for, no, no. <laughs> for him to rape her. He was only raping nines he and was, tens. No, no, but not just... Do you think you can... Like him, he's like, fuck. If there's a woman that I've never come into contact with screaming and yelling about my prowess in, in rape, I must be good at rape. Yeah, he's you like, think he felt like, yeah. God damn, I am like the Michael Jordan of rapes. Yeah. yeah. God damn. <laughs> like he, I'm the goat. <laughs> yeah. Because he's, he's affecting he's like, people yeah. that were, never even met him. He's fucking, yeah, he's 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 Cosby scores. Like, like if somebody comes up to you and they're like, I haven't even seen you do stand up, but I, I'm already laughing. I'm so excited. All the stuff yeah. they say, I'm clearly going to have a good time. Yeah. You'd be like, fuck, I'm good at what I'm, I do. I'm better than I thought. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened to him. Maybe yeah. he left there. He's like, yeah. Swish, God damn. One. still got it. Still got <laughs> Lay up. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, he lost a lot of weight. Did he? Oh. He thought that would help. Like he's like, no one's gonna recognize me. But he still has a fucking goblin yeah. face. He should grow yeah. a beard. Why? Yeah, because he has a beard. I think if he shaved beard. his head and had just had a mustache. So him with the shaved head, a mustache, or he's got money. Get a, get like a fucking like uh, get a hair 
piece or something. Like a blonde hair piece and a mustache. No one's going to recognize him. Or you got one of those uh, goofy glasses. You know the one with the big nose and shit? Yeah. Car- like a... a, 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 a one of those the disguises. Marx Brothers or was it the... Yeah. You know, it's a disguise. Yeah, the, like the yeah. fake... The one yeah. that O.J. Simpson wanted to use in my in my story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, he's a rapist, so fuck him. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, she just ruined it for everyone there who paid tickets. Mm. They all paid money. They're like, oh, God, now it's But weird. if it was a private party, I guess no one paid. But don't you pay for the private party? Like, if it's one of I those, get, like... Someone paid. Someone paid for that. And it was uh, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I want a refund. <laughs> but why isn't he in jail? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Since he, he had, raped a bunch of people. Yeah, but bro, he has money. Oh, yes, it's yeah. true. The super no, uh, I think there's era. some drop charge. I think there's still another six or 80 cases pending yeah. or some shit. So uh, he will eventually go to court and he will eventually probably get some jail time or he'll just uh, escape to some country that doesn't care about rape. I'm surprised he hasn't done You mean France? Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't yeah. done that already. <laughs> yeah. It's actually more Switzerland. Like everyone goes no, no, to saying, Switzerland. Was it, didn't Roman Polanski go to... No, they all go to Switzerland. Oh, sorry. Switzerland sorry. doesn't give a fuck. All our fans in France yeah. are like, what the fuck? Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, no, no, we're yeah, no, uh, yeah, it's that's Switzerland. Italian. I know, that's why I did it. <laughs> the fuck? Roman Polanski's in Switzerland, uh, and even uh, they, they weren't rapists, but everyone that was considered to be communist in the states, like during the McCarthy years, they they all moved to Switzerland. Like I said, you can't trust yeah. the Swiss. Yeah, you can't trust the Swedes either. I saw that new movie Midsummer. I saw it a couple of days ago. It's from the guy who made Hereditary. Remember I told you to fuck that movie? Yeah. Midsummer, nothing supernatural. Just a goddamn Swedish cult. I was watching. I was like, this is why you can't follow Greta Thunberg. This is what the kind of shit would happen. These guys are, they're serious about recycling. Like when you get to a certain age, they just kill you. They want you to commit suicide. It's not good because the preview is good. Look really no, no, it's good. not a bad movie. But you can't, you see that. You're like, that's why we can't yeah. trust Sweden. Sweden can't yeah. make control. They're going to want to kill us to make us into compost. That's the future. Yeah. It is a future. Yeah, but it is it is a good movie. It's uh, it's creepy. I saw a lot of really bad specials this weekend. I saw on Netflix. I saw Jenny Slate. Uh, it, her show is called um, Stage Fright. It's so bad. It's so bad. But whether you're a comic, if the show is called Stage Fright, you know that you're in bad yeah. hands, right? Yeah. It's like if it, this year captain speaking, I, I don't feel cool about this. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to drive to Baltimore yeah. if that's okay. Because <laughs> you, if you're a fireman, right, and the thing that people know you as is a guy who's scared of fires, yeah. you're like, holy shit, why, why are you calling this guy? Yeah, whenever he lights a cigarette, he goes, ha ah. <laughs> ha. Can, can you light this for me? And he has to close his eyes. Just or like to the take pest control problem. guy is terrified of roaches. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. Stuff like that. Like, you there's know? a magic special on Netflix, and the guy's yeah. like, I don't know how to do magic. Yeah. And he's just doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just doing that. Yeah. Like, what am I watching? It was bad, though. It was really I, bad. I would assume it was. And I, I saw Arsenio. Also bad? It was. Re- it, it looked like a parody from a, a, someone doing a parody of a 90s black comic. It felt like I was watching a bad Eddie Murphy movie, <laughs> and he was going to see a comedy show. You know what I think happened? He was one of those guys that's like, I could still do this. Yeah. But he didn't practice in between. So he's still Arsenio from the 90s. But it doesn't translate. Like you can't, some stuff just, you can't keep doing. Yeah. You know, there's some stuff that just dies, like certain tropes on stage that just don't work anymore. The last time I went to LA before the time we went, I remember I was at the comedy store and Adam E. Get, like I was going to leave and he was like, no, no, you got to stay. Arsenio is going to be on in five minutes. And then... I was like, I sat down, and as soon as Adam turned around, you left. I was like, I'm not, I'm not staying for our city. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm going to sit and watch our city and go, woof, woof. All right. Fuck it. It's our city. It was, but it was fun to watch. It was fun to watch. And his set, it's just a copy of his old talk show. Yeah. And he was doing jokes, and people are, are doing this. You're like, God damn. Fuck it. They Do something like, new. Yeah. They like the past. What about Jerry Springer? He's still doing stuff. Uh, I don't think so. His uh, his security guy has his show. Yeah, and Steve it's, Wilco. It's so yeah. bad. Yeah, where he keeps choking people. He's like, yeah. you, "You're lucky that I'm on TV right now, or I would punch your fucking face." Like that. That's all he does. We'll yeah. be right back after these words. Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. Uh-huh. 
It's all fake. It's all that shit's Obviously. fake. Oh, fuck. I saw Steve Harvey. I really like watching uh, Steve Harvey on his YouTube, uh, or, or it's actually on his Twitter. He uh, he always shows moments between, uh, like during commercial breaks, of him doing stand-up again. And it's always, like, he used to be a really good comic, but now it's just fucking weird. And he had a, he did a motivational thing. And he was like, you got to believe in yourself. He goes, I used to have a job and my dream was to be my boss. And then one night I followed him home to see what my life could be like. Then when I followed him, he was fucking my mom. <laughs> no, but he was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was like, he didn't. I saw his car. That wasn't my dream car. Then got to his house. That wasn't my dream house. Then his wife opened the door and that sure as hell wasn't. And then it cuts yeah, there. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is motivational that your old boss had an ugly wife and a what? shitty car. <laughs> What a fucking weird motivational speech. But but it might you don't know he might have a, a zag. He might be edgy. He, it might end with, and because she was Asian and I'm a racist. <laughs> <laughs> it might end like that. And you're like, oh shit, yeah. he's edgy. He's usually, edgy. Usually he has uh, when he does motivational talks like that. He brings God a lot into it. Mm. Yeah, all the time. And God's so, like, stop it. <laughs> and he often he teaches people how to how to comb uh, their mustaches and their beards. <laughs> He like he he had that the other day for like um, for six minutes. Six minutes. I watched him talk about how to comb your mustache, and I was like, "Why am I watching this?" <laughs> you know what? We can't show the video now just because we had technical difficulties and we do not want to mess things up. But Terrence Howard, he was at the Emmys because you know, we don't watch award shows anymore. They're all fucking garbage. Yeah. So we Emmy. missed this. What's an Emmy? Very good. That's what I want to hear. So um, he he. Uh, Truly doesn't no, know. No, he about. truly doesn't know. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's better. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. What's a Terrence Howard? What's a Terrence Howard? He was, I think, the original uh, war machine in the Marvel Universe, but then he wanted more money. And they said, we'll get Don Cheadle, bro. Nobody knows the difference between you black guys. So that's what happened. Um, Wait, we, they switched guys? Yeah. And war machine? Yeah. You didn't know? The first war machine was, I think, uh, was him, Terrence Howard. And now it's Don Cheadle. You never noticed. So Disney was right. And You're all, Disney was right. Everybody watches and, movies can't tell black people apart. And Terrence Howard doesn't look like Don at all. Cheadle at all. at all. Like they're not even the same color. Like, no, 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 at all. They're not the Terrence, same color. They don't look alike at all. Terrence Howard w is super pale. Yeah. Like he could pass for white in some countries. Yeah. Yeah, he could. For, in some countries. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so he's on the red carpet and asking questions. Are you going to do an another season of that shitty show that he does with J.C. Smollier? Um, uh, Empire. Empire. And I wish like, he, it was umpire. Umpire. Yeah. Umpire. <laughs> it's a baseball show. It's, why, is, why, is the, why is the baseball guy have a gay son that pretends to get beat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they didn't ask him about that, obviously, because the red carpet people. <laughs> but they asked him, are you gonna, he's like, I'm not going to do it anymore. And then he starts going off. He starts saying like, because I found, why would I keep doing that? Which is not something I should be doing since now I found the truth, the hidden meaning of life, the layers in between the frequencies. Because oh, I learned how to control the vibrational pattern of the frequency to make it. And the guy's like this. What the, <laughs> he's like, what the fuck do I do right now? What the fuck? And she's like, really? What do you mean by that? But in his head, he's like, I'm getting fired. I am getting fired. I don't know how to get out of this segment. God you guys got a, the vibrational frequencies, and then when you feel the vibration, you intertwine the vibrants, and then the vibrational pull of the vibrating. He's like, well, that's a lot of vibrating. That's a lot of vibrating. That's a, I don't know where to go with it. Do this. you think he was fucking with the red carpet people? Because that would be funny if he was doing that. I would love if he's fucking yeah. with them. Apparently, no. Apparently, he has okay. all these ideas that he knows He does. God. Know. Oh, yeah. He says, and then everything changed for me when I saw the face of God. When I saw the face of God, oh, I knew that what I was Jesus. doing for I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking God damn. He's going to invent a car that runs on magnets. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the next step. <laughs> yeah. When I was watching that, I was like, man, what happened to Don Cheadle? He's, mm. uh, he's, <laughs> he's losing Fuck. it. Uh. Like Kanye, Kanye has found God too, yeah. recently. Really? Recently? I thought he but, always had... Uh, but he used to be kind of religious, but now his new album is... Uh, J what What is it? Jesus is King? Jesus. Or Jesus is gang rape. <laughs> Jesus is King or oh. uh, something like that. And then he's all he does is talk about Jesus. Like somebody told me that yeah. in the chat. Yeah. It's a Jesus King. I didn't know that he only talks about... It's like a gospel thing. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, are, are you... Uh, I saw him... I don't know what show. And they were like, are, are you uh, born again? And he was like, I'm Jesus everything. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I what? don't even know. Yeah, it was, do you consider yourself a, a, a Christian singer? And he goes, I'm Christian everything. Oh, I got myself a Jesus 
of Nazareth rookie card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got the posters on my wall. I have yeah. a question. Who is Jesus? No, <laughs> I'm gonna help you. <laughs> Who is this man, <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> you're talking about. How do you? He I, helped me resurrect my career. Yeah. How do you find God? Yeah. If God is everywhere. Drugs. Very. If, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. So quick on that. So and if, like, if God is everywhere, very easily. Yeah. I done found. Yeah. I done found God. Oh, he's doing it cracking. Yeah. Up. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah. Because could you imagine if that's what he tells you? It's like, why are you writing this album? Because I found God. Really? Was he lost? No, but I was. <laughs> that's what it is. That's all it is. So didn't it? technically God find him? Shouldn't he find God too when he was fucking like young? Uh, Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Like not fucking Kim Kardashian after seven kids. Yeah. That's not God. No. That's the devil, sir. Yeah. That's the- <laughs> Succubus. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you're a succubus. I think what's strange is that their relationship, as much as people like to make fun, because we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, it seems to work. Yeah. They seem to. She's under- getting yeah. black guys out of prison fucking left and right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude. Well, her, her, Kim Kardashian's dad was, a lawyer? her dad was a lawyer. Yeah. And being a lawyer isn't that hard. Like, I don't think, like, you got to go to school, but. You it, just got to know the ins and outs. You got to know how to, like, you rhyme. You got to know the ins and outs. <laughs> God damn. What a good way to describe. The ins and outs of the law, bro. You know, fucking being, being, being a doctor, you know. The ins and outs of the body. Next ticket I fight, you're representing me. Yeah. Your Honor, look, if we base this on the law books, we got the law books. I know the law books. You know the law. We all read the law books. My client is innocent. Hey, what client, sir? This is a parking ticket. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Park here, park there. It's a free planet. Long live the law, bro. <laughs> yeah, and then he, he fist bumps his car. Yeah. <laughs> sir, did you bring your car in the courtroom? <laughs> you needed to see. This is the real victim. <laughs> you don't know what he goes through because he's black. He goes through a lot, this car. Oh, God. Oh, I posted a photo on my um, Facebook page yesterday. Of a of a guy that the police were looking for that they caught in the state somewhere, but he he was this black guy with no arms. Yeah, I saw that. That was funny. And How were, the fuck did they handcuff him? Yeah, that's people were want in the everybody yeah. was like if you his, look at the comments, his feet they destroy like the comments. That poor guy got so ridiculed. But, like, did they catch him red handed? Did they like yeah. everybody kept okay, everyone's attacking. just making fun of his yeah. arms? How did he even commit a crime? He can't commit with a his bank feet. robbery. He, he can't can. do Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, but I mean, he can drop kick people. You see, that's how. You, that's why cultures escape. You yeah. don't understand cultures. This is the United States of America. This is not the first time that an unarmed black man goes to jail, bro. This, is, <laughs> <laughs> this, this happens all the time. He should be the poster, the poster <laughs> child. I done did nothing. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Where my arms at? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. So I wonder what the cops did. They were like, put it, put a gun. Put a gun on his shoulder. Tape a gun to his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> there's a photo with him. There's tape on the gun. He's like this. <laughs> he's, I'm like, he's trying to bite the gun off. <laughs> you, know, you know what I feel bad for? Imagine, oh, like, even if you're a criminal, you're trying to be hard, you know, but you have no arms. You're like, I'm going to fuck you up, and somebody just needs to face push you, and you fall yeah. over. <laughs> it's so yeah. fucking bad. And then you can't get up. Yeah, you're like a turtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. Christ. Uh, fuck. Well, uh, where did where <laughs> where did they catch him? <laughs> fuck, I don't know, bro. He's probably buying gloves. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what crime it was or no? Uh, what crime could have been? Kicking, yeah. screaming. What, what could it have been? Imagine it was rape. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Fuck, that's impressive. God damn. That's actually impressive. Jesus Christ. I doubt it though. They wouldn't. They, people would have known. Yeah. Yeah, they would have said something. He'd be easy to catch if uh, if there was a rapist with no arms. Yeah. But then everybody then would make fun of the victim. Yeah. The victim would become the button of that joke, guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. But he has no arms. But he asked. Yeah. Very aggressively. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I don't know if this is his fault. <laughs> 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 Looks like he just had sex with a handicap guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's trying to think of something. It is ludicrous. It is. It's nuts. It's nuts. nuts. I did. I went to. A, we had a roast battle in the city. Yeah, you. T- uh, yeah, you said this uh, before we got on the air. Yeah, it was the finals, uh, and I went as a judge. And let me tell Perfect. you something. Thank God I was just a judge. I do not belong in that competition. Not in this city. There, everyone's the caliber too, was weak. No, it's just they're too nice. Everybody likes each other, so okay, they're yeah. so nice to each other. Nobody wants to hurt each other's feelings. You could tell. Like they go hard, but not really hard. Like they yeah. hold back because, like, I know this guy's my friend. So uh, on one hand, I'm like. I can appreciate the fact that, you know, you don't want to hurt your buddy's feelings, you know? 
but I guess the way I am and the way you are, look, yeah. look at how we don't, are. Don't do roast battles don't do if roast. you're afraid to yeah. hurt people. What I found weird was they would hug each other at the end. No, that's not weird. They're no, they after. do. That's that. cool. No, that's but a, I mean, yeah. the hug was a little... You do it even in sports, yeah. bro. So. No, but I know, but like, there's the manly that's hug. That's because you were never hugged kiss. as a child. No, no, there's the manly hug. There's like the bring it in, bro, like, you know? Yeah. And then there's like the... The hug that has feelings and emotions. Yeah. You wanted like, You wanted the prison hug, like the... Bend over, boys. Yeah. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> you wanted the, the yeah. No, they were fine. It's just that um, you could feel it, like because you, I, you, I know the comics. I know some of my, I know that like you know, this. Some were hurt. Some, yeah, you could tell some, yeah. some, some jokes yeah. hurt. But some, I know how good they are of a writer. For example, I'm like, no, you could. I know you could do better than that. But you're purposely holding all your cards in your pocket. I was the meanest one. I was a judge, and I was the meanest one. I, was, yeah. I called one guy a pussy. I said his girlfriend was fucking fisting him. Like, I went crazy. Yeah. I said one guy, I wish that? I got AIDS. <laughs> um, uh, Cafe Cleopatra upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're starting to do a lot of shows there now. Yeah, yeah. So I think, uh, I, I don't know if Chris Van did it alone, but I think he, he with, with Reese and those guys, they organize it. So they're doing well. They're, they're like, they're trying their best yeah, yeah. to get stuff happening. And they, I feel like they found a perfect spot because location wise, you're downtown. Yeah. It's great up there. Plus, the owner, Greek guy, always gives good deals. He wants people to do stuff up there. Yeah. Super nice guy. Like the whole family that they want people to come in and do stuff upstairs. So they always give uh, good deals apparently. Yeah. It, now it's just a case of marketing it and making it. And I guess maybe next roast battle, whether you like it or not, create the brackets with people that knowingly hate each other. Let them go fucking off. Or yeah. you know to be good since there's so many, like right now there's a lot of uh, social justice warriors. You get a, like a social justice warrior versus someone from the right. Yes. And then you get a, a black guy with someone a little racist. <laughs> you, you go like fucking, you know. Yeah, that would yeah. be a good bracket. Let that me organize the bracket. That would be very entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. You need yeah. security. Maybe I'll yeah. do the security for the rate. Yeah, if there's fucking yeah, if there's like for, like for crazy the racist. Yeah, yeah, no, but well, you yeah. you don't get someone that's really racist. Like, I, the don't. only the only yeah, you, you get someone who's pretend racist. You, yeah, well, no, like, well known racist comedian, yeah. and some guy walks in, he's like, "Well, where the dark is at?" Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's just it's some Montreal black dude versus Michael Richards. Who yeah. <laughs> the only the, all of his roasts are just like he said, "Nigger." Yeah, what? <laughs> that's a, that's all roasting. That's, yeah, you're gonna lose the first <laughs> round. But I feel bad for the the social justice warrior comics in that if that happens. Could you imagine that? Yeah. You're offensive and then you just get fucking rattled. Yeah. Oh, that would be, yeah. That would be fucking fun to watch. Though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was so funny when you I'll were, talk to Chris. When you were putting in your two cents. Well, because, you know, uh, first of all, I always paid. So I wanted to entertain. I wanted yeah, to be funny. Yeah. And uh, plus they know me, the comics I wanted. They know that I don't, I'm not trying to hurt their feelings. I just fucking What around. was the grand prize? Uh, some money, I think maybe a hundred bucks and like some, I don't know, candy. I don't know what else there was. But, uh, <laughs> was there candy? There was candy. There was candy the, being thrown out. The really? Prize? God damn. Halloween themed, I guess. Yeah. 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 They throw a lot of candy at me. Well, they're trying, like they're learning. Like they're, it, you don't know the first time you do this shit, like how it's going to, like what to do. Yeah. You know? So I guess what they're going to do is they took all the good, like whatever worked. Yeah. And doubled down on that for the next one. Uh, but marketing though, I don't know what the fuck it is because they shared it everywhere. I didn't even see it yet. The day of, the day of, I was on the show. I didn't see it in any of my social feeds. Interesting. And they were sharing it, and I didn't see it anywhere. So I think marketing is another thing that needs to. No, no, no. They need to step up their game. But, this is but also, I don't know if it's fucking Facebook also blocking a lot of stupid stuff if they feel like it's offensive or whatever. Because I should have seen a it. I follow battle? all these yeah. people. I should have seen it. Yeah. How's the rules battle offensive? What are you talking about? I I, end, I closed the night with a rape joke. Yeah, that was. Yeah. My last joke was a rape <laughs> joke. <laughs> Everything yeah. about a roast battle is offensive. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's, you're trying to offend people. Yeah, you're trying yeah. to you're trying to be mean. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's good that there's a champion now because it was Jason Selden. By the way, we should give him credit. He won. Uh, everybody just kept calling him gay the whole time. Everyone okay. kept. He's not gay. Because he's clean cut, they like you look like a, you look like a you look like a fag or whatever it was. So everything was that. So I guess for him it was kind of like an Eminem situation where he's like, "Fuck, they already wasted that." And so every time a new person would use that, it wouldn't have the same zing. It'd be hacky. Yeah, it felt yeah. hacky. So it wouldn't have the same punch. So he just never addressed it and just kept doing his jokes, which is what you should do. Because yeah. once, twice, three times, you're like, "Fuck, everybody's using the same joke. I got this." Yeah, mm -hmm. it was smart. But did they have a trophy? No, no trophy. Maybe okay. the next one. I'll talk to him about yeah. getting a trophy. I know a guy that makes... Oh, I know a place in St. Leonard. I remember that does... They, they create... Right next to Milano's. Yeah, they create trophies there. 
I don't know if it's a front. We'll find mm. out if it's a front. We'll, we'll. Yeah. yeah. It works if as it is a front, you'll get an even better trophy. Yeah, even better trophy, better yeah. better price. No. Like just yeah. taking it the fuck They'll out. be like, God damn, we're finally going to make a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. We bought this machine years yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> get Use the dust off. Once. <laughs> Take the money off the machine. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> stack some money. Some money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Speaking of money, mm. I bought this... Uh, I, I I used to keep money at the house, and then I stopped keeping money at the house, because uh, like I I bought I bought a really nice safe to oh, put nice. in the wall, like behind a behind a, a portrait. Yeah, tell everyone right now. Yeah, but uh, I never put it up. I never put it up because it it was it was too big for like. And then I was like, I'll need to get something huge over it. But you don't want to open like. For it to work, it has to be like a small portrait and just a couple bills. So uh, I never, I I never use it. But then I bought like just a fake book that has a lock on it, and uh, I put money in it, and it won't unlock. <laughs> so I'm like, God damn, that's a good safe. Yeah, that's a good safe, but it won't unlock. So I'm like, what a fuck. But how piece hard of is shit. that lock? It's gonna be super easy, but I didn't want to break it. Yeah. But I was just pissed last night. I was like, mother. Fuck. Like I hurt my hand just trying to fucking turn the thing. That's hilarious. Yeah, fucking... yeah. I think I'm gonna have to bend it because it's just a shitty lock. It's like a diary. Remember the girls had yeah, diaries. Yeah. It, it's just uh like what, what they have in prison when they they have a Bible and they cut the middle out. It's the same thing, but it has a little lock. I, I have fake books like that at home. I I put in uh, silver. Yeah, and yeah. There, there's no lock. Yeah, no, I shouldn't. Uh, I should have got one without house. a lock. Yeah. I shouldn't have got one with a lock. No, why would you get a lock? Because you don't have them for theft pre prevention. You just have them for storage. Yeah, exactly. If someone's going to steal it, they're not yeah. going to be like, I don't have the key. Yeah. I better leave this here. <laughs> it's because they didn't have one on, uh, on Amazon On Amazon that was cheap. And the the one I got was super cheap, but because it, it, it won't open. Mine was super cheap too, but no lock. I got it on Amazon. It was like okay. 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll find it and eventually I'll... Yeah, it looks like a book, but not a real book. Mm. Besides... Um, so I started, uh, it's funny because I wanted to watch The Watchmen, the series. I was excited. Yeah. Bro, I saw both episodes back to back. Oh my God. They, they, they're just taking, uh, first of all, The Watchmen only works as a standalone thing. Like the way Alan Moore had created it, it works as a book. And then you kind of think about what could be in the future. So this like takes place later on. But all they did is they took the Watchmen concept and they just made it race wars. That's okay. all they did. So yeah, they, they took the Watchmen and now you're supposed to believe that there's a 41-year-old black woman beating the shit out of everyone and it's just white people are the devil type of uh, like stuff. Oh, and on. it's like, if that was at least part of the book, like story, okay, but they're just creating, the, the whole book was about who watches the Watchmen and who's really in charge. Like if there's a government who watches them and if there's people on top of that who watch, it, that, what, that's what it's supposed to be about. Conspiracies, I love that shit. And then I look at this and it's just like uh, about race stuff. It's oh, like why just yeah. don't call it the Watchmen. Yeah, that's it. Call movie. it race wars. They always try to do that, uh, like in superhero movies now. They're like, Be okay, woke. we yeah, we need to make it about women being strong or or white people being garbage. They don't did, make it woke. They, they did the same thing with Teen Titans, the Netflix original. Oh really? Yeah, they they made uh, Starfire into a black woman. I don't mind because I don't care about mm. those characters. And that and no, that no. you were angry that there was a black woman and she's in, on fire in your, in your program. You're like, okay, I like the fact that she's burning. <laughs> this, this I can, I can I get, can get behind. behind. Yeah. No, no, and I think one of the opening scenes is her walking into like a, a cafe with uh, Raven, I think. And uh, I don't know any of these people. Yeah. It's uh, another superhero, and uh, basically they're all racist because she's black or whatever. And she's like, watch this, and she kills them. Yeah, the cafes notoriously don't like black yeah. people. It was uh, Dunkin' Donuts, I think. So this <laughs> it was Dunkin' Donuts. Because you imagine Dunkin' Donuts like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah. Why are we in this show? Why are we in this show? You guys don't like black people. Well, who the fuck said that shit? Yeah. Who the fuck? We did. DC has decided. I it think, was in a rural town. I think Dunkin' Donuts though is so fucking hard up for publicity. They're like, yes, finally, people are talking about us. Oh, it's like the Power Rangers movie where it was just a big Dunkin' Donuts commercial. Which Power Rangers movie? The, the new, new one. one? Was yeah. it a Dunkin' Donuts yeah. commercial? I don't remember. Yeah. I saw the new Power Rangers movie. Yeah. I actually watched it, I think, in the theaters. Yeah. And what? halfway through, I was like, what am I watching? <laughs> halfway through, I was like, why did I pay money for this? What am yeah. I stupid? Do you remember? Like, I'm such a kid. I like, I was like, nice, I remember this. I'm going to go watch a movie. And then as I was watching, I was like, what? I'm an adult man. What am I doing here? <laughs> I think we went together. Eh? Uh, I know it took my girlfriend to it. I think I was there, too. I watched it. Yeah, I was there. 
she was like, "Is this for retards?" I was like, "It is." Well, no, because like it started <laughs> off super. It started <laughs> off. He was like, "This <laughs> is the best." <laughs> <laughs> it, but it, remember, it started off super serious and it got super ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it just got like I mean, it's the Power Rangers. Like, what yeah. did you expect? But uh, I feel like th- they had a good concept. It's just you know people reach like we're gonna go a bit edgy and then you go back to being a children's thing. You know, but who are you trying to appeal to? Your old fans or the new fans? Because yeah. if it's the old fans, you gotta mature a bit. Yeah. So the thing is about the race, what you said about Dunkin' Donuts, that doesn't bother because that kind of makes sense. That's a, it could be a good story point where a black woman goes in, like because that happens. Yeah. Like people are racist. Yeah. And me, what I don't like is that the Watchmen has nothing to do with the book now. They just changed everything. So they took the name The Watchmen. That's like let's say there's a. Do you like Spider Man? Yeah. Let's do the Spider Man TV show. Spiderman. There's no Peter Parker in it. There's no Spider Man. There's just a guy who guys gets from the clan. Yeah, guys from the clan attacking Asian dudes, or mm. you know. You'd be like, wait, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Well, he dresses like a giant spider, but he's Jewish, so we don't like him. He calls the Asian spiders because they... Well, I don't know why I went to him. I don't know why I went to him. He's the the reason these shows exist. (laughs) He watches the shows like, we're fighting racism. (laughs) But your thing that you were talking about, uh, the lady at the Dunkin' Donuts, that's a, a bunch of characters that Netflix invented? No. Okay. That's DC characters that they took? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many fucking characters are there? Because they're coming out a with lot. new shit. A lot, a and lot. it's like the, the powers are getting shittier and shittier. Yeah, they have no more powers. Yeah. I mean, her power was to walk into a Dunkin' Donuts and get yelled at. <laughs> she shoots green fire <laughs> out of her hands. Green fire? Yeah. Green fire. So if it was red fire. Because it's star fire. It's not regular fire. Oh, is that it? Is that a line? I, no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's are not you on fire? I'm on star fire, baby. <laughs> Glamorous. Is that what it is? <laughs> She's a star on fire? Basically. It's like fame? I'm gonna live forever. Basically. Is that it? Yeah, something like that. You went, you were saying uh, before uh, we started this show that you uh, <laughs> you went and did some tests at the hospital? Yes. Oh, oh this is Friday. amazing. So for everyone that's watching right now, uh, this is the moment you've been waiting for this week. Poseidon's hospital story. You're going to love this moment of retardation. So I'm going to take it from the top because... Uh... No, because we don't want to spend 15 minutes of I was trying to go to the hospital and they wouldn't let me. Basically, Poseidon's <laughs> been trying to get to the hospital okay. or get a blood test for months, right? But they kept saying, sir, we don't... Like, you have to go to, like, a veterinary clinic in the woods for what you need. So he, they kept basically kept turning him away. They kept finding yeah. excuses. <laughs> How would like, they turn you away? Would they go... Sh- <laughs> no, we go, go. With, with the broom. <laughs> no, I, I tried. To... <laughs> How'd they get a paper? Why, why are they hitting me with I, the paper? I, I was trying to avoid going to the hospital, and I tried to do it at a CLSC, and they just kept sending me back and forth. And well, why were you worried? Why do you need a blood test? Been, your no, your no, dick, I, the I, end of your dick itchy? No, hooves. no, I hadn't gotten a blood test in two years, and I just do it every year routinely. routinely. Okay, yeah. just uh, you know, make sure I'm good. Good, you know, there's nothing uh, bad happening in here because. Uh, so I'm, I'm very unaware, of, man. There's a bunch of bad bunch things of happening bad things. in there. Yeah. I mean, well, some of them are here. in the exterior. We yeah. can see them. So here's the thing. He finally gave in. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to go to the hospital. This is crazy. So he finally goes to the Montreal Jewish General Hospital. And he, and then he calls me. He's like, dude, can I go here? I'm not Jewish. And I was like, yeah, dude, it's, it's for everyone. It's just that. Oh, Did you wear a uh, yarmulke? Yeah, he's like, do I need to, try to fucking fit in? disguise? Do I have to dress up like Abraham Lincoln? Like those guys? Like, what do I have to do? I put on fake uh, bada bops there. What do you bada call bada bops? Look at me. I'm, I'm a regular Jew. Look, I got the bada bops. <laughs> Look at the end of my dick. <laughs> no skin. <laughs> All right. It was burnt off. Boom. Starfire, baby. Starfire. You know this. <laughs> Point is, he gets to the Jewish General Hospital and he caved. He went to the hospital. And now he's now I'm gonna leave the story up to him. I brought yes. you guys all here so you don't have to listen to 15 minutes yeah. of buildup. So he's are, at the hospital. Are so, you at the in the emergency room? No, 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 no. Because no. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what so I thought he, it was. No, he went to where they take the blood. I think like okay. the eighth floor or some shit. Okay. Uh, Pavil- Pavilion E or whatever. All right, that, that helps. <laughs> I get it. And uh, <laughs> you're painting a picture. <laughs> and uh, I get I get to the I get to the first counter, and she hands me over a bag for a stool test. But I didn't know it was for a stool test. I thought yeah, was... First of all, he doesn't, be honest, she said it's for a stool test. He doesn't. He didn't know what it was. He's like, I don't know what this like, is. So he thought it was part he, of the blood test. Did yeah. you think it was like a stool where well, comics looked, put their drink on it? No, no, no. It looked like a blood test tube. So I thought, uh, I'm like, okay, that's weird. They give it to you now? Yeah. I, like, anyways, he I was, thought he had to take it with him inside the doctor, give it to the doctor. Yeah, I was okay. confused. So then she tells him, come back next week. Oh, wait, hold on. She goes. Uh, he loses it. Uh, well, yeah, she goes, uh, come back next week. No, no. Yeah, take it and come back next week. Yeah. And he's like, what? 
He freaks the fuck out. He's like, yeah, you say it. What are you, crazy? I'm going to get the guy to do it. (laughs) We got to get the guy to do it. He thought thought it was the blood test, and he thought she was asking him to go home, take his own blood, (laughs) put it in that thing, and come back next week. So (laughs) so Poseidon actually got mad. He's like, what? Are you crazy? I don't have needles. I'll punch myself in the nose. (laughs) I'll get the guy. But she's this time, she's talking about shit. So when he goes, I'm going to get the guy to do it, she apparently gave him a look of... Disgust, confusion, and worry all in one. Yeah. Did did so she probably thought you were gonna get the like the, the male gu- nurse to hold the cup while, they, while you shit in it between his asshole, or yeah. you were gonna jam it up the guy's ass to get his own shit. <laughs> Honestly, I have no clue what she thought, bro. But but he's imagine him being confident. What I'm gonna get that guy to do it. I called her crazy. What are you crazy? I go. To- and then he went what in. Are you crazy? He went into the room holding his his cup. So he went to get the blood. So the guy took the blood from you. Yeah. And then what'd you tell him? I go, uh, by the way, what's this? <laughs> Why'd they give me this, bro? Why'd they give me this if you're taking the blood here? And then that's where it's clicked, by the way. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm retarded. And uh, he goes, oh, that's... The uh, tests have confirmed you are a retard. I, <laughs> and he goes, that's a stool test. Stool? And I pause, and he goes, yeah, your poop. poop. Oh, I gotta take a shit, bro? <laughs> like this in front of everyone. <laughs> He's just like... Jesus Christ! So he did, refused to wait a week, so he went in the bathrooms there uh, and forced and the you, shit. You know how he probably did it too. He probably did like when people bob for apples. He shit in the toilet and then <laughs> tried to. <laughs> oh, how did you collect the yeah. shit? Oh, you so they us. give you a waterproof paper, not waterproof paper, but plastic. Like, it's a piece. It's yeah. a big paper, and it, it attaches to the side. What of is the waterproof bowl. paper? Because <laughs> if waterproof paper exists, why are we using plastic? Why are there yeah. so many fucking turtles dying? Yeah, he's right. Just Not get waterproof, waterproof paper. Water resistant, I guess. Did he just give you a plastic bag? <laughs> no, no. Was it a see-through waterproof no, paper? No, no. So you gotta you gotta unfold it and you gotta. <laughs> they gave him a Ziploc bag. <laughs> you gotta you gotta apply it to the edge of the toilet bowl okay. and it kind of like hangs over the water. Ah, uh, so and you shit you, in the bag. So you shit in the bag and you do the stool test. You poke your poop, your shit with your you, finger. No, with no, no. With, uh, they give you a device. Like a spoon, like a no, little no. spoon. It's it's like a it's a thing that unscrews. It's a it's a tube. It unscrews. You pull it out. It's like a little thing. It's like a ribbed thing. You and should you just, you should just it. shout on the floor and be like, "Pick it up, guys! <laughs> yeah. Run your fucking yeah. test!" And like, and like, you got you got to poke poke the poop, and like, because it's ribbed. As soon oh, as you, you pull suck it out, some of it in, and then you put it in the vial, and you you put it back in the vial. Uh, like you're God running tests. Yeah, like, shit. And I've so never had, had to do that in my life. You had an adventure in that bathroom. Yeah, it took me like about thirty minutes to shit because I was nervous, and people kept banging on the door. Hi. Hey. I'm like busy. <laughs> Where people busy. yelling because they're trying to. He's like, "What the, do you keep?" The, they've been dude, holding in their piss. Yeah, he's sir, like, that isn't a washroom. Because <laughs> you imagine they're yelling at him. He's like, sir, I could hear you've been shitting for 20 minutes. Just take some of it. He's like, I keep fucking up. I keep eating it by accident. Oh, I, have what to, the hell? I have to restart. It's delicious. Oh, oh, that's nasty. So in the end, you gave them your blood and your shit, and uh, pee. So you gave them blood, piss, and shit. Did they ask for piss, or you just you <laughs> were like fucking, you know? No, they asked. Since for piss. I'm here, might as well. No, no they <laughs> asked for piss. So you, you gave him a bottle of water and filled it pee. <laughs> While you had it, why don't you double down? Give him some cum too. You're like, look, guys, just test everything. Uh, you didn't give him cum, but no. there was any, there was probably cum in your shit anyway. <laughs> oh, not wow. yours, but at least we'll know your dad's okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sir, the semen that we found in your rectum. Wait, wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, you so uh, nasty. Did did you get the results yet? Uh no, it's a minimum a week. Okay. Okay. So by Friday or next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "Sir, this isn't a joke. Why did you put animal feces in the vial?" More the point. <laughs> Sir, are you telling us you've been eating kibbles? Yeah. Kibbles. <laughs> What's a kibble? <laughs> the dog food. Wait, lunch. Yeah. It's your snack. Yeah. That's dog food? Yeah. You didn't know that was dog food? No. <laughs> He's like, it just tastes good. Yeah. It reminds me of dogs. <laughs> I thought he knew it's just a diet that he was on. Speaking of diets, you want a diet? Uh, I've been careful. Okay, meaning? Yesterday I ate lasagna. <laughs> Is that your diet? You ate lasagna? <laughs> but I, I did it. I took it from the rear. Yeah. I well, started from the finish line, no, guys. No. It had vegetables in it. It had uh, mushrooms, green peppers, red peppers, pasta, onions, cheese. I'm not a dietitian. I can't argue yeah. any of this. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that was bad was the pasta. Yeah. And the, and the cream? 
Yeah. There's no, there was no cream. And the cheese, cheese technically isn't a vegetable. No, but cheese, you can have as much cheese as you like. It won't affect. Like, you know the keto diet? Yeah. That's not true. Well, not, but you if can't. you ate, if you ate like 900 pounds of cheese, no, it no. might not be that good. I don't for think you. you can eat as much cheese as you want. Are yeah. you crazy? You can eat some cheese. Well, obviously, there's a limit, but I mean, like, like you can put cheese and stuff. It won't affect. Like, I think it does. I think cheese is one of those things. No, I, I love cheese too. I'm just saying, cheese we know is not good for you. Wait, what? No. Wait, you thought cheese was good for you? Cheese was one of those fucking it's like a vitamin. <laughs> it had the. Uh, it has uh, you know for your bones. Calcium, dairy. Calcium. That's not true either. Dairy, dairy. That was the dairy oh, lobby that fuck. made that up. You know what I saw this week that freaked me out. You don't I need was, milk. I was at the grocery store and there was uh there was in the frozen section uh, meatballs made it from veal and it was written dairy free and I was like, why would there be dairy in it? it? It's fucking like it's it's meat. Why would like do they think they're gonna trick some vegan into going? Okay, good. This is fucking delicious. Maybe part of the veal meat was part of the cow's tits or something. I don't know. No, but there's. <laughs> a bit I, of a I tried to yeah. make something funny, but it, yeah, it's like your dad's gonna invent the first ever peanut-free car. <laughs> there's no peanuts in this. Your kids yeah. could ride in it. Yeah, yeah it's weird. <laughs> that is fucking. Yeah, that's a little strange. It's just it, it's one of those. <clears throat> Words that they were like, oh fuck yeah, people don't buy our shit because they're they're against meat and dairy. Let's just say we don't have dairy, <laughs> which is true. Yeah, which is super true. Imagine in the meeting, they're like, Bob, you're a fucking marketing genius. Yeah. I know, I know. It's like yeah. it's like uh, I've seen this before. They take oranges, unpeel them, put them in a plastic container, and con and they write contains vitamin C or vitamin whatever the vitamin oranges have. You mean Where? orange juice? Huh? No, no, no. What they do is they take the orange, they peel it. They take a small plastic container. They put the orange in. Do they do this in fucking Ecuador? Yeah. Like, <laughs> where did you see little plastic <laughs> cups I saw, of oranges? I saw a picture online. <laughs> okay. And they had them stacked. They had them stacked, and they were selling them individually. Individually? What yeah, do you mean? Yeah, and then, and then the, there was a sarcastic reply. It's like, huh, it's not as if nature already fucking... What? Or, what? No, because they peel the orange, and that isn't sarcastic. Yeah, at all. No, because they. No, well, because they. But nature peeled... doesn't peel the orange for you. No, no, no. Because no, the the, the <laughs> nature, like the orange, it has its it has its skin, right? Yeah, but yeah, you don't right? eat it. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you remove it, right? Yeah, they did it for you. Yeah. yeah. So what's the sarcastic on... bit? Yeah, because a... they were selling it as like a special orange or some shit. They were selling it individually more Honestly, expensive. Honestly, I think the only special orange here is you. <laughs> you're a special red. Yeah, you're a special red. <laughs> you're not special orange. You're, you're a tomato without the skin. You're special. <laughs> when did you realize that that thought was going off the rails? Uh, <laughs> How soon into it did you realize? I have no idea what I'm talking as about. As soon as I started doing yeah. this. <laughs> and plus you're like, there's this thing they do. Where did you see that? In a meme. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting here. <laughs> you ever watch Twin Peaks? What? The show. No. You? Uh, yeah, in the old days. I, I started. Yeah. Uh, I started watching it. Has it aged well? I like it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. What's it about? Uh, murder. Nice. Yeah. Why did I say nice like that? Yeah. Because you were happy. It was a girl that got murdered. She was oh, raped yeah. by what they're saying so far. Because I saw the, uh, I saw the, they made a prequel that came out later, but I saw it before I saw this and it kind of okay. hurt my head. I feel like it ru ruined a lot of plot points for me because now I know that her father molested her. Okay. And no one's supposed to know that yet, I guess. Um, but basically she was, uh, what they know now is that at least three people, I think, raped her. And uh, when they found her dead. Uh, but they don't know who the three people are. I guess they're trying to figure it out. And we're trying to find out who murdered her. And there's another girl that went missing. And uh, there's these like paranormal shit happening it's a lot of fun it sounds not fun because i talk about yeah. rape but you don't see a rape or anything it's just that that's a serious part of the crime yeah. but then after that it's wacky interesting yeah yeah and that that's an old show like it's a good that show was, uh 90s right it was david lynch yeah yeah that was like before x files and better than x files way better yeah way better so far i'm really enjoying it yeah by the way i have never watched a single episode of x files get the fuck out of here right now <laughs> <laughs> that was so aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> X-Files was good though. Yeah? Yeah, it did a lot for, like, it brought a lot of conspiracy theories to the mainstream. Interesting. Yeah. Like aliens. Yeah, they even, yeah, they even talked about, I think, uh, 
9-11 being an inside job on the on the spinoff show Lone Ranger, I think, on the first episode. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh -huh. It would have been insane if they talked about 9-11 being an inside job. Before it happened? Before it happened. Oh, maybe. I have no idea. Yeah. But I remember something about 9-11 and people were like talking about it. Well, there was a verse, uh, I think, in one of Biggie Small's songs. Yeah. So it said something coming down. A fat idiot's going to quote me in the future. Uh, something like coming down with Twin Towers and like conspiracy theorists online, like you can search it. That doesn't rhyme at all. That doesn't rhyme at all. How how did he, how did he make that rhyme? Yeah. Huh? No, but he says something related to the Twin Towers. You realize that he's from New York. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the Twin Towers were. Yeah. He said shit about the Empire State Building too. No, yeah. but like he he refer, like people are thinking in he, that verse oh, he, he referred like, to like a bomb. Yeah, to them yeah. coming down. Yeah. Well, type of just shit. in case, so you know, in the nineties, uh, while he was still alive, uh, uh, Osama bin Laden had actually planted a bomb in the World Trade Center. Yeah. Like really? It really happened. Yeah. yeah, it did go off. It didn't do much damage. No, so. no, because the government wasn't involved to help him in yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know? No, I don't know. Uh, ninety one, I think. 1991. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know uh, Bin Laden was in that one. I, I knew it was Arab terrorists, but I didn't know. Wasn't it Bin Laden? I thought it was Bin Laden. It, it was Bin Laden, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good with this shit. You know yeah. what I had found online that creeped me out? That apparently 9-11 was just a giant human sacrifice. We're going to get to that insanity in a second. but cause <laughs> Just I, a giant... Human, human sacrifice. sacrifice. Yeah, like they sacrificed a lot of humans. So you're you're saying that these so people, vomit, these the people worshiping. all committed suicide. They're like, no, no, no. We're gonna basically, sacrifice basically, ourselves. It was it was the uh, basically because like the, they're all like in the Illuminati and they worship the devil and whatever. Yeah. And I, I had seen a video that before the twin towers went down, they had built a new building that was black and it was supposed to mirror something like out of a I think Egyptian. You mean an obelisk? No, no, no. It was a usually it was like a black. Usually in like the old days, what it was describing the video it was like a, just a giant black slab of stone. Okay. And it was like used... a 2001 A Space Odyssey. I've never seen that movie. Okay, go on. <laughs> and uh, it was used to do sacrifices. And before 9-11, what they did was they had... Uh, Erected this? Built a giant building that looked like that. No, And where? Next to the World where? Trade Center? Next to the World Trade Center. But no one noticed it? No one noticed the entire building being erected? No. And, uh, Fucking things happen. No, but New it's, York. A, it's a, <laughs> too busy. No, but it's a functional <laughs> building. It's like an actual building. So they but build they, a building. Yeah, but they made it black, like the giant slab of stone. I I have to find the video again. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna send it to you. All right. And that apparently it was just a human sacrifice by the government. I think you're a human right. sacrifice. So who 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 ordered the sacrifice? Was it Dick Cheney? Yeah. George Bush. Okay. George Bush is definitely not a mastermind of no, any type. No, no, like, no. if he's the mastermind, he's I want to know who the undermind yeah. is. But. He's a friendly buffoon. Yeah, he's a friendly buffoon. No, he no, wasn't no. even in charge of the government. Yeah. Dick Cheney was. And Dick Cheney, definitely not Illuminati. He's exactly like the guy that on paper runs that trophy store. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is mine. Look at me. I make trophies. Okay, Alan, go go, go drink a coffee. That's we're what it is. Do some business. Yeah, we're going to kill yeah. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Dick Cheney's not in the Illuminati. That is pretty evident by the way he is and who he was. But he's mixed up with everybody. Like, uh, he made a lot of money off, uh, like, military contracts that came out. So, yeah. point is, I, I don't think Anyways. it was an Illuminati sacrifice. No, obviously, but I had stumbled upon this video, and it's interesting. You stumbled upon a you bunch of things. You stumble often. <laughs> But speaking of 9-11, oh, on fact. Saturday, that was the joke that... Remember my new 9-11 joke? I did it again. I lost everyone. They all got upset when I said oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then I had to win them back. It was the oh, only shit. joke that didn't hit, but it made me laugh. The fact that they got so... Uh, like, whoa, what the fuck? We're not going to side with terrorists. But, uh, yeah. I saw a, um, a documentary on uh, Netflix about women driving in Saudi Arabia. I, I saw that yesterday, like uh, while passing. I thought it was a joke. It said driving school, women's driving yeah, school in Saudi yeah. Arabia. Is that a real thing? I watched it and it was actually I I enjoyed it. And but there was one girl. She was talking, kind of talking shit, or not talking shit, but she was like, "Yeah, women used to dr uh, drive all the time. When I was four or five, my dad would take me out to the desert and he'd let me drive. That sounds and I was like, oh shit, her dad's gonna get murdered." But then, because, right, if the government heard that, they'd definitely oh, kill yeah, him. Yeah. But then, then she was like, yeah, and he died two years ago. So oh. I was like, okay, yeah. 
after I started yelling about him, let me drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he mysteriously vanished. Saudi Arabia, that's a fucked up yeah. place. Yeah. But in the desert, there's no... You can't really hit anything. It's a desert, so... You can't really hit anything. When people live there. Like, that whole place is in a desert. No, but what I'm saying, like, he would take her out in the desert desert. But like, they live in the desert. No, no, I know, but, like, where there was no roads and stuff, right? How do you know? She never said that. If there's no roads, what's she driving on? Well, you drive one of those dune buggies, you know, that drives on the sand. <laughs> <laughs> but they're talking about cars, about driving yeah. cars. That's the whole point of the show. Oh. Why are you defending the, the Saudi yeah. royal family? What's going on here? <laughs> He's a big fan of uh, King Solomon. Yeah, are you are you a plant? Did they plant you here? <laughs> He's undercover. <laughs> yeah, under a lot of cover. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy if we find out he's not even Greek. His real They've been name is well. <laughs> Hasim Al Bin Nun. <laughs> <laughs> he's their James Bond. I can't. I can't. I can't grow a beard properly. Oh, that's true. That's why. That's why they sent you here. Yeah. Like you're the only one that could blend in. <laughs> <laughs> but what am I gonna call myself? I don't know, something ethnic. <laughs> Poseidon. Yes, it's either that or Aquaman. They're not going to believe Aquaman, sir. Poseidon it is. <laughs> uh, oh, speaking of that, you were, talking, uh, you were talking to me before the show started, and I was laughing about Trump killing, uh, uh, well, Trump killing, God damn it, I, I fell for it, uh, Abu Bakr. Yeah. And what he said online compared to Obama, oh my, I laughed so fucking much, dude. You, you were walking around, you were bringing me coffee, but Mike says it the best. Just I didn't know the differences of how... Obama announced killing Bin Laden. How <laughs> Trump announced killing Abu Bakr? Because the way the way Obama announced it was uh, just uh, yesterday, uh, Osama Bin Laden was killed, and then um, uh, then then Trump was like, yesterday, uh, uh, and then he had trouble saying his name. He was like, we blew him up, and then the cops went in. Or he didn't call them cops, but it was almost the sold and the, seals. He was like, they went in. They didn't even they didn't even knock. They just busted the door down. <laughs> and they killed him. And then and then it goes to Obama that's like uh you know very presidential again and he's like uh, he was uh, he was uh, assassinated at uh, this time and then it it goes to Trump who's like and then there was a dog, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> And then Obama, go, it goes to Obama that goes, uh, we want to thank all the soldiers for doing this, the SEAL Team 6. And then it goes to Trump that goes, and no one's going to thank me. <laughs> I did <laughs> this and no one's going to thank me. Like he kicked down the yeah. door. Bro, he's fucking yeah. insane. That's hilarious. That's amazing, though. That sounds like... It sounds like you being president. Though. There's yeah. a fucking dog. They didn't yeah. even knock. They just walked in there and killed him. Every, that's everyone, I was about to say that. If they were pussies, if they were like fucking from England and they were those Navy SEALs, they would have knocked and shit. Whenever they, they show videos like that, it's it's to make people hate him. But that just makes me love him. Yeah. Because he's, he's a lovable buffoon. He, he yeah. seems so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, God. It's just so funny. No one's going to thank me. No one's going to thank me. I didn't even this knock. Whole thing. Fuck. I plan I plan everything. Uh, and there's a there's a napkin and it says kill Arab guy. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking followed the instructions. The thing that's <laughs> funny about Trump too, did you see him at the baseball game when people booed him? No. Cause he was like uh when when they said he was there, the thing that makes me really laugh <laughs> is he got booed, but he was surprised that he got booed. So you see him, they're like, and uh, we have uh the uh, is he forty fifth president? But we have 45th president of the United States. And he's like, and then people go, boo. And then he goes. Oh, <laughs> he's <hilarious. there. laughs> it's funny that he, there's so like the America's so fucking divided. So, of course, yeah. whatever. Fuck. If it was Hillary that was president, she get be booed yeah. everywhere she goes to. Yeah. Like it was just it was just a weird election that. Whoever wins, half the country hates him. Yeah, it, but it, it was amazing that he's surprised. Did by he get that. sad? Yeah, he got kind of sad, and then his wife would just, she was like, she just looked forward, Melania, and then you could tell in her eyes, she was like, oh fuck, he's gonna talk about this in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if they booed him yeah. and he was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did she hold his hand after? No, nah, I don't think she touches him anymore. No, she hasn't touched him in yeah. years, dude. Like, are you fucking crazy? It's not gonna touch him. I'm just paying for my parking, Poseidon. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm paying oh, for yours, too. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, we're all paying for parking together. No, I, I got At 10 minutes. I got some time. time. How, how much do now. I have? Uh, you, this is session two. So, actually, you yeah. have more time than me. So, uh -huh. session one, I got nine minutes. You got 11. Wow. Yeah, I'll pay for it in a bit. Yay. <clears throat> I feel, not that I feel bad for her. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for her because she hasn't, they, they attacked her in the media as if she's like a shitty person. She hasn't done anything. Yeah, no. 
She was a model. She got married to a rich guy. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. She's fucking living the dream. Yeah. Like she moved from her shitty country to New York fuck, to, and then married a billionaire. And then that billionaire became fucking king. Yeah. Basically. It's true. Like she's living the dream. When she was in her fucking little house in, where, where's she from? Like uh, Siberia or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Irkutsk. I don't fucking so know. she's in Iceland. some weird little ex Soviet like, oh. country. <laughs> yeah. So, so she's like in, in the Czech Republic or whatever. And then she's, she's she dreamt about this. And, the, and now she looks like, oh, fuck. I shouldn't have dreamt about this. <laughs> but it's still a better life than whatever shitty life she had. For probably. sure. It's a lot better life. It's just, it sucks that she's hated by default. Yeah. She hasn't done anything. Same thing with Ivanka Trump. Yeah. I have no problems with that lady. Her, the son is annoying. Yeah. His son is very annoying. His son looks like a piece of garbage. Like he looks like a rich kid that got everything as an asshole. His son. But the daughter, Ivanka Trump, I've never had. Like yeah. I look at her. I go, There's nothing hostile about this woman. Yeah. Melania and people getting mad at her. Her job is just not getting fat. Yeah. That's her job. It's a difficult job. As soon as she gain, if she gains 20 pounds, she's going to lose that job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if she stays thin, you know. She's a lifer. She has yeah, that job for life. Yeah, for sure. Right? Because Trump is like in his 70s now. So he's not even, he's not again going to get divorced. I don't think. I don't know. Well, you could do whatever he wants. I mean, yeah. He, I mean, remember, he. He's pre he became president after having Stone Cold give him a stunner, right? Yeah. And after he got into a huge argument with Gary Busey over a fake company. <laughs> like he's Wait, what? Yeah, he used to he was the host of the apprentice. Um Trump. Yeah. Yeah, I know this. So celebrity apprentice. So he, he, you know how psychotic this is? Yeah. How crazy what all this is. What a crazy life. What a world. What do you think yeah. is gonna happen in the next elections? What do you mean? People like how, how ridiculous were they in 2016? Uh, like him bullying people. Yeah, I don't know. He really changed the game, though. Yeah. Every, everyone that's talking shit about him, you look at every election, everyone in the world after that, people were like, "Oh fuck, yeah, that's a good way to win." Except it, Canada, where they missed the yeah. opportunity. Mm. Well, they they tried to play it like Trump, but everyone was really shitty. They're, they're pussies. They can't yeah. do it here. Too nice. They were exactly like the roast battle you judged. <laughs> yeah, too nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone's too polite. Yeah, you got to be a little mean. You got to like, have that meanness in you. Like Doug yeah. Ford talked, he didn't talk shit, but he retweeted someone that kind of talked shit about Andrew Scheer. <laughs> and then he he deleted his tweet. <sighs> Whereas in America, he would have he would have said, you know, yeah, of course I fucking retweeted that. He's a shitty politician. <laughs> but doesn't, but Scheer and Ford aren't the same team? Oh, uh, well, yeah, but not really. No? Like, well, one of them's conservative provincial, the other one's conservative federal. So, I guess so they're, they're kind of the same team, but not really. Same, same, but different, basically. Same, same, but different. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Same, yeah. same, but different. Interesting. Besides, I'm sorry, I was just paying for our parking. It's okay. I want to make sure you don't get a ticket. Oh, Sanko. Uh, I care about you. Sanko, I care about your well being. Oh, Sanko. Sanko, sir. So, why are you doing that? Why are you doing the Asian accent now? I don't know, actually. I don't know we're why. Being, I we're, went being, to... we're being fucking nice to you, and then you're like, you know what? Rip me, guys. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know why I went to that. Sanko. Oh, Sanko. So... Oh, Sanko. That's so weird. Yeah. Why did I go to that? Why did my brain go there? You think we're going to give you a massage? Are you trying to give us a massage? No. Is that what's happening here? No. Don't fuck around, bro, because we'll take the massage. No, it's okay. I'm so, like, I don't want a happy ending. I want a happy beginning. <laughs> I'm going to be in uh, Quebec City, ending. your hometown this Saturday. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Your hometown doing... That's uh, fucking doing awesome. I think people are going to have fun. Yeah. It's pro It's like really close to sold out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll awesome. sell out uh, by by the time we get there. Very cool. Uh, yeah. It should be fun. Poseidon's going to man the door. For people that don't have their tickets yet, where do they uh, go? Go to pantelscomedy.com. Go to dates. You'll find it right there. Okay. And then uh, this uh, November 1st is Thursday, right? Uh yeah. Thursday tickets for Sherbrooke go on sale. Uh, I think November first is Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah. So that's when tickets go on sale for Sherbrooke. I know because okay. that's when I have to pay my rent. Yeah. They go on sale uh on Friday. Tickets for Sherbrooke at one a.m. Yeah. I like how you uh, f paying rent is super new. That you're like, I know it's Friday. No, but the best is I, I like how he's like, it's the first. That's when I pay my rent. That's when everybody pays the rent. Yeah. You fucking asshole. No, I know that. Don't most people pay on the 6th? Yeah. 
You guys play on the first two? That's why. Oh, just because because I, I haven't fucking team I, adult. I never <laughs> <laughs> look at me. I, I look never. At me. I'm like a man. <laughs> I'm like a man. <laughs> <laughs> I never paid rent before, so uh, I'm super nervous about missing the date. Yeah. So I'm always like, I can't forget. Like, I'm being super responsible about it because I don't want to fuck up. You know what I mean? That, I mean, yeah, just, like, you, like, like, uh, like, like you everyone. Be. You literally just said, yeah. guys, look, I never had to pay rent before, but now I have a bill. I got to pay it. You just I described paid. everyone in North America except for your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone else is like, fuck, I got to pay my bills. So you haven't paid me rent. Well, when's it due? A year ago, sir. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, fuck. You got to remind me. You got to remind the homie. Yo, but you're laughing. But at the old apartment, there was, uh, I had a neighbor who lived there. He didn't pay rent for two years. They were trying to get him evicted. It's very hard to evict people. Yeah. yeah. And especially since it was a co-op, it was uh, low-income housing. Yeah. Stop calling it a co-op. Just say low-income mm-hmm. housing. Because a co-op just means there's partners involved. Oh. Yeah. And it was, that's what they called it. Cause yeah, they don't want to call it low income housing. Yeah, because they oh. thought they were partners. Yeah, but you know They're what? Like how at Walmart, we're associates. Yeah. You know what though? Yeah, of course you are. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, um, a lot of them they lease like crazy expensive cars. Yeah, of course they don't fucking pay rent. Like that's true. if your rent is <laughs> three fifty a month, of course you're gonna drive a BMW. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, just yeah, spend on a car. True. Yeah, I gotta move in there, <laughs> buy a car. <laughs> it would work. No. Yeah. I'm looking at my wife. It's weird. Uh, she she found the house her grandmother used to live in, and she showed it to me. And I'm thinking of buying it. Where is it? It's uh, it's in some shitty little town between uh, Quebec and Montreal. But it's right uh, uh next to the Saint Lawrence River. Oh, so and, it's a nice view. Yeah, amazing view. And there's a a beach with sand, so you never see that. So wait, are you thinking of buying it, tearing it down, and rebuilding it? No, I'm thinking of just buying it, just to. to but I was like, ah. Oh, Did fuck. she die in there, the grandma? Uh, she didn't die there. Did anyone die in there? And uh, pro- it's since it was built like in 1800, someone's probably. Are you worried died about there. ghosts? Is what I'm trying to get. To. No, yeah. but my house was built in 1902, so people probably died there too. Are there ghosts in your house? I don't know. They don't. I've never. Do you hear them. any weird noises? No. Poseidon, you nervous about ghosts in but, here? So you're gonna have it as like a getaway house? Yeah, but I, not, not getaway house, <laughs> but like a like a no. safe house. <laughs> if, if ever if ever the fucking Chinese mafia <laughs> is after me because of you going, how? Oh, oh yes, I roll. <laughs> He's gonna go build trophies in there. Yeah. No, but I was because I was thinking because now with Airbnb you can just buy houses and rent them and they don't cost you anything. Oh, oh, that's what my dad said he's gonna do. Yeah. Oh wait, are oh, you are fuck. you on the same level That's as that? God. Okay, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm never I'm never buying that fucking house. No, cuz he... <laughs> God damn it. No, you ruined it. Fuck. Uh, Jesus Christ. No, cuz he bought a triplex. Oh, did he? Like an hour and a half away from here? Oh, I thought you were going to say an hour and a half ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> and like uh 30 minutes away from Mont-Tremblant. You know? It's like, bro, the skiers 30 minutes away. That's far though. Yeah. Thirty minutes because okay. Montreal is forty minutes yeah. <laughs> from Mont Tremblant. Yeah, I think. so why wouldn't it just come? No, it's an hour fifteen. Yeah, but mm. I'd rather sleep at my house and drive an extra thirty minutes. minutes. Yeah. Well, I was talking about like the tourists coming in because we we actually get but a lot of tourists. Wouldn't tourists pay money to stay in Tremblant? Yeah. Because well, if he, you're like, let's go skiing near what, Montreal, you want to be next to the mountain or thirty minutes away in a triplex. That's <laughs> what I told him. But I was like, no, because he's going to have competitive pricing. Okay. Like, how competitive? Free. (laughs) (laughs) But here's the thing. You fucking, uh, on Airbnb, every person has their picture. If they're pretty, hide cameras. Yeah. Make money. Sell that video. Sell the videos. Or his dad is the kind of person that, you know, he would do that. What are you gaining from this? You're losing money. No, no, no. Everybody will still come to me. So what I lose in money, I gain in market share. <laughs> <laughs> They're all there. Yeah, but you're not making money off them. You yeah. don't get it. You're, you're not good at business. The market is in my building. I have yeah. everyone there. The and mar- then I could upsell them. I could be like, you guys want these cool t-shirts I made? <laughs> the market share. There are three apartments in that building. I own all three of them. I have 100%. 100% of that building staying with me. How much? Free. I get everyone. And they don't pay a thing, so they go back, and the reviews are all five stars. Doesn't matter what I do, because it's free. 
You don't see any holes in this plan? No! This is a great plan. <laughs> that is your dad. How, you know that's your did, dad. Uh, how did your dad... Did he pay cash for that place? Or he... Uh, I guess. How? Yeah, because a, a bank, no bank would, would finance him, right? No. Yeah, how does he get the fucking money? Maybe I'm having trouble now trying to get a place. Bro, honestly, I don't know. So it's either someone, you know, that the might break his legs or... It's probably all the fucking child support money. Oh yeah, he's been storing yeah. it. <laughs> well, no, cause, he's uh, paying with your fucking shoes. <laughs> from... Well, no, because he's still somewhat paying his dues to us. What? Well, to my mom. His dues. He calls her every four months. No, no, no. He's still like, uh, he's still for everything that he didn't give. He's Wait, is given he paying a his dues or is he fucking dues? No, no, no. He's pay he's still he's paying, paying his he's dues. Paying, he, no, he's, have sex with him. he's paying what he should have paid. <laughs> yeah. Years ago. Basically. So he's paying 1987 prices. <laughs> no, no, no. He's getting the like, deal. All right. I, no, no. I talked to my friend in 1987, $38 grocery. <laughs> Here's 12 Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you 50 <laughs> bucks. You got the month. <laughs> no, he gives like How, how much amount. does he give? A good amount. What's a good amount? 200 a week. 200 a week. For how many people? For three kids three. And, a, and a wife, so four people. Yeah. Yeah. So 50 bucks each. He gives 50 you. bucks each. Yeah. He gives you an allowance each. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't see any of the money. I haven't seen any of that money in like forever. You got to get a better agent. Yeah, and neither has your mom <laughs> yeah. or your brothers. No one's seen that money. Well, no, he says she, he gives it. I fucking, I, you got to check your neighbors. <laughs> I put in an envelope. Oh, dude, you want to laugh with that? Remember how I told you uh, Guido was trying to hook me up with like one of his agents, but he's like, just oh, yeah, so you the, know, I never met her before. Dude, it's literally like it. It feel. I'm like, am I part of a like a scam or something? It's like, okay. So first she's like, I want to meet you. I was like, nice, perfect. And then Guido's like, what the fuck? I never even met her. So we set up an appointment that gets canceled. Then another appointment that's get that gets canceled, right? Then I'm like, what the fuck's happening? He's like, oh, I'm sick, so we can't meet this day. We'll reschedule. I'm like, all right. Then okay, how about this? How about we meet over Skype? I was like, yeah, that's fine. This is the time we're gonna meet on Skype tomorrow. Perfect. And then the day comes, like, yeah, my mom's sick in the hospital. I can't. I was like, wait, what the fuck is happening? This is so suspect. Fucking Guido Grasso's connections. Very suspect. Very suspect. So now I just, I'm not even emailing okay. her. I'm like, okay, forget that agent. I got to find another one. Yeah. Very yeah. suspicious. Yeah. A good agent, Poseidon. Much like a manager. Very hard to come by. 95% trash out there. Really? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Especially in smaller markets. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 95% garbage. Even, even the ones in New York and LA all seem like fucking... Most are shit. E either garbage or... Sketchy. Super busy. Yeah. Super... But you know what's fucked up is that anyone who know... Like someone in the know would be like, oh, I'd rather this guy. He already He's already doing something. I'm just kind of jumping yeah. on. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't have to work too much. I have a product, you know? But fucking idiots. They, they they spend all their money trying to make someone something yeah. instead of um, making it easy on me. I think you're better off with someone that isn't doing this, but you like his brain or, yeah. or how how she or he is. That's or, what's gonna end up happening. Yeah, that's what's gonna end up happening. Like that's what I did with uh, Michelle. Like when when we signed together like 20 years ago, I was gonna sign with Just for Laughs at the time, and I was like, ah, oh, they're gonna fuck me. Yeah. And then there was a couple other big like. Uh, managers but every one of them like whenever i'd meet them i was like oh i'm gonna get screwed whereas michelle he was like fuck he was my age pretty he was your much homie. yeah so i was like ah he's gonna be okay so it's gonna be it's gonna take longer but then i can trust him fucking michelle's hooking me up michelle hooked yeah. me up with a writing gig oh nice yeah he said they wanted a script for a movie rewritten in like uh they said oh we rewrote in english but like so they want to fix me? it so I got it. First, the guy was like, poor guy, the guy, the in between was like, it wasn't his fault. But at first, he's like, uh, he's like, okay, this is the price. We're going to pay you this much for this many pages and then the full amount for the like, fine. And then they kept lowering and lowering it. And at the end, he's like, do 16 pages for free. And then if we like you, you'll get the whole contract. So oh, at first, I was fuck like, fuck you. you. But then I thought about it. I go, poor guy. I'm going to yell at him. He's gonna... So I said, fine, I'll do it. Yeah. So in this, dude, if you, I'm going to show you the original 16 pages and what I wrote. The person that wrote it doesn't speak English initially mm. there's no way whoever they got to write it lied that he knows how to speak yeah. english it was like it felt like there was some google translate in there plus oh really yeah plus <laughs> oh really yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. even the even yeah. the words that they would use aren't stuff that people in north america would say so one guy would switch his vernacular from like a british slang to north american all right yeah they were talking about coke is like fancy a bump 
And that's a guy like Poseidon saying, fancy a bump? If if a guy... So it's the term fancy, fancy a, bump? a bump? for Do you want to do some what? coke? So Not even when, the Brits when, Yeah, when I, when I first okay. read it, I was like, my buddy yeah. Rob, my buddy Robert Sheehan from Umbrella Academy, peaky, like he might say that. The Peaky Blinders might say yeah, that. Yeah, so I read that, I go, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Like, if you would, first of all, an actor would get that, like a legit actor, would be like, oh, who the fuck's writing this, you know? So then I rewrote it, so now I'm waiting to hear back, but it's uh, I, I won't now it's either give me the full script or nothing yeah. at all because I'm not going to keep writing like I gave them like 15 pages and I, I turned into an actual you couldn't even you couldn't imagine in the beginning because I, I got my girlfriend tested out I go read this and four pages in she's like this is hurting my head like it's I, I, this is fucking yeah. annoying and she couldn't picture it so then I did mine I gave it to her I go okay now read it and she's like oh fuck this makes sense now I actually picture the scenario in my fucking head I go exactly uh, well what production company is it no idea they okay. gave me a whole slides and shit on it. i didn't look at all of it okay i just looked at who's attached just like oh i know that actor you know just to see who's attached to get a, a feel of is it north america because at first I was like why the fuck are they keep switching yeah. the terms like well, nobody talks like that like they would even switch the terms of lift and elevator which would bug me oh really so they had both so it's like ah oh, he's going i'm going to lift and it's like yeah i'm at the elevator i go fuck it's impossible yeah it's impossible <laughs> nobody they talks call like the that. apartment a flat yeah they did okay. call the apartment a oh, flat, shit. yeah. So it's basically someone who used Google to just translate yeah. in British, or he's a French guy from France, something yeah. like that. So I was like, uh, oh, come I on. fucking hate that. And the like, uh, one thing I hate too that I know there are a bunch of movies that do this, but I only notice for French. But whenever they'll have a, a like uh, an American thing, but they're in Quebec to meet someone and they're like this guy's from Quebec and then he has a huge Parisian accent yeah, oh. I'm like or or it's just uh, someone with a thick English accent I'm like just fucking you know it's not that hard to hire someone yeah. that knows what they're doing it, it, but people don't I guess people don't know because when I'm telling you when I was reading I was like fuck people won't like this the yeah. way it's, even the first joke line that I had to change I was like oh this doesn't make sense because they were talking about you know guys getting married and he's like, oh, well, I know why you picked her. Like, if you got to, what do you say? If you got to put your dick away in holy matrimony for the rest of your life. But I was like, whoa, wait a second. Your when dick you're away. getting married, your dick's not getting cut off. You're just, the joke should be about one vagina. Yeah. The joke shouldn't be about you not having a dick. So yeah. I changed the, the whole, but I, I go, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Like, I actually got mad. I go, what the fuck? Is, like, if you just, who you go, what actor are you going to give this to? And then be like, this makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> when I got married, I know I scotch taped my dick to my thigh. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? Man. Strapped it with a giant elastic. So I'm writing that. I will see if I get. Oh, there's an email. Let's see if that's. No, that's. A, if I get a reply, if they like it or not. Okay. Um, but uh, they're definitely not going to get anybody better than than me. Like I, because I even delivered it fast. The guys like have yeah. this ready by Wednesday. I had it ready like a day and a half later. I think though, like, the problem is most people. If, if you ask people in Montreal that are French, do you speak English? Everyone in their mind speaks English. Yeah. Same as uh, if like you speak to English people. They they all speak French, but the you know yeah some people don't speak well enough to translate a fucking a script. script. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. happened when I read it. It was yeah. just someone who the was guy like, I can this. the guy can order a drink. Yeah. when he goes to Toronto. Yeah, but that's it, and he has to point. <laughs> that would <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be the equivalent of me coming back from Cuba, learning how to say una cerveza por favor, and yeah. then saying I could speak Spanish. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, you can catch Poseidon online at the Poseidon 69 Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, you're going to find Mike at MikeWard.ca. And he's yeah. also MikeWardCA everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. And Mike, where's uh, where's the tour taking you next? Uh, I'm doing a bunch of shows tonight, tomorrow, and uh, Thursday in Brossard. Very nice. Uh, and then uh, I don't know, I'm going all over the place. So go to MikeWard.ca. It's all French shows for now. I'm gonna start doing English shows after the holidays. Very cool. Uh, PantelsComedy.com for all of my stuff. Yeah. Uh, this Saturday I will be in Quebec City. Quebec City. Uh, tomorrow I fly down to Texas. I'll be at Texas A&M on Thursday for the uh, Spooktacular show. Very cool. Uh, which I, I'm dr I'm just dreading flying. I hate you know me. I hate yeah, flying. No. If, unless I'm flying to crew. If I'm with you guys, then I'm happy. So I got to fly down for that. Uh, and tickets for Sherbrooke will go on sale on Friday. Nice. PantelsComedy.com. Big P4H everywhere on social media. Uh, two drink minimum. Remember, tell your friends to subscribe. Tell them to like and share. Tell everyone about this goddamn show. And we're everywhere. So it's uh, SoundCloud, uh, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google, Google Podcasts, Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Spotify, anywhere that you compound and, media. And if there are places that the podcast isn't there yet, tell us on uh, Twitter, and yeah. then we'll add it. Or even on TuneIn. Yeah, we're on TuneIn. We're everywhere. 
Yeah. What's TuneIn? TuneIn is exactly is uh, is the radio in my car, hmm. basically. It's like kind of online radio. They have podcasts yeah. too. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, pretty cool. So tune in to Drink Minimum Weekly. Tune in with TuneIn. So we'll be live as long as there's no technical difficulties every yeah. every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. So which means we'll be live four, four nights a year. Yeah. So uh-huh. Tuesday is 2 p.m. And then Wednesday, the episode is everywhere. Compound Media, uh, Apple Podcasts, whatever the hell you want. They're there. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you're going to be on Apple Podcasts, do us a favor. And if you're in the States, because right now it's not really working for Amazon uh, here. But in the States on Amazon Prime and on um, Apple, uh, our buddy Aaron Burke has his special 25 sets up. Yeah. So uh, get, you're going to enjoy it. It's fucking Aaron yeah. Berg. So get that special. And apart from that, Mike, anything we need to plug? Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Go except, fuck yourselves. Except for assholes. I'm going to fucking kill you.